this video, we'll go over the main tabs within the Doodly interface. The first tab you'll see on the left is a tab called Scenes. If you click the Scenes, you're going to be able to see various scenes within Doodly. To add a scene to your whiteboard, you'll simply click on the scene and drag it over to the main interface. Once you do this, you'll be able to see it here. At any point, you can click the Preview button and that is going to allow you to preview the scene. The next tab is the Characters tab. If you click that tab, you're going to see all of the characters that have been added to your account. You can scroll down and notice as we scroll down, more and more characters are populated onto the screen. At any point, you can perform a search by clicking in the search box here at the top. For example, if we like the character named Sean, we could go ahead and type his name into the text box. And here we're going to see all of the images related to Sean. If you want to add a character to the scene, simply click on the character and drag it over to the scene. From here, you can take the character at any moment and you can drag the character around on the screen by selecting the character and then moving the character around. Again, you can click preview and you can watch a preview of the character being drawn. Next is the props tab. You can click on the Props tab, and from here you'll notice that Doodly contains thousands of different props. If there are certain props that you're looking for, for example, let's say we're looking for a desk, we can type in desk, and you'll notice that all of the images related to desk are populated. If you'd like to move a prop over to the scene, simply click on the prop and drag the prop over, just as you would a scene or a character. The next tab is the Text tab. From here, you'll notice that we have a few default text options. To drag a text over, if you want to click on it, drag it over to the scene. We can then double click on the text. It's going to bring up a box like this, and then we can start typing. Once finished, we'll click Done, and you'll notice that the text was changed. And the last tab is the Sounds tab. If we click on this, you'll notice that the Sounds tab contains hundreds of sounds that we can add to our timeline. Now to add a, a sound, it's a bit different. Instead of dragging the sound over to the main screen here, you want to drag it down to the timeline down here. So we'll take this sound, we'll drag it down to the music timeline, which is this one right here, and you'll notice that it will populate. You'll also notice that there are a couple different audio lines down here. This one is the music tab and this one would be used as sort of a voiceover tab. At any point you can add your own sounds to Doodly by clicking the plus icon here. It's going to bring up a screen like this where you can select the file from your computer. Once finished click continue and it will add it to the list here. You can also add your own fonts. You can add your own props by cl clicking on the plus icon. You can add your own characters and those are the main tabs located within Doodly. Thanks for watching.